Welcome to your winner software. In this segment, we will be covering how to create a title page. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than the include file portion that you may have looked at earlier. Because with the caption page, we use a different type of setup. So please follow along as I go through this with you. Let's click on the edit icon from the main menu. And first of all, I want to show you what the end result will be. So if you will open a file or just take a look at what I'm going to show you here in this particular one. This is my title page. And my title page, you'll notice, uh, I have the word state here. And then I have I, uh, colons down the side, which separate um, the so-and-so versus so-and-so and venue and so on. Now, in some software, when you are typing in information before a punctuation mark, such as a colon, or if you use parentheses, the colon or parentheses may move. However, by creating your title page in a caption box format, which you can see up here, that is the format I'm using. When I type anything, nothing moves. And that's the beauty of it. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to close out of the caption box. And now, if you will follow with me, I want you to click on the winner editor icon. At this point, we're going to click on the Cancel button. From here, I want you to go up to File, New. And I want you to select your page layout. At this point, you should be in a blank screen. OK? Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go up to what I call the formatting area. And we need to change it from normal to caption box. So please select caption box from the drop down menu. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Alt C because I want to center, and in all caps, I'm going to put uh, in the state of Michigan and at this point I am going to go back to the left margin and you will notice if you can look down here as I enter hit my enter key you'll see it says line two and a half three three and a half four what's happened here is we have set the uh, caption box in single spacing so that if you need to have certain things single spaced you don't have to jump through hoops to do it and if you need something double spaced just don't forget to enter twice alright so I'm at the left margin I'm going to now put um, let's say uh, state of Michigan and then I'm going to now hit my tab key you will notice if you look at the top from this side of my page to this side of my page I have my first tab is a permanent setting in the caption box format to be approximately the middle of the page now if it is not the middle of the page. You can make a change to your layout. What I would suggest you do is, and I'm going to close out of here again, and if you notice when you're looking here that this is not in the center of your page, then try and take a look at where you need to go for it to be at the center point. For me, on this particular layout, between one inch and six inches, 
it should be set at 3.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out of here. I am not going to save the changes. We are now going to go to our page layout wizard. And we're going to say change page layout. What I need you to do is select your page layout if you need to make a change to the first tab in the caption box. So select your layout name and click OK. From here, you will click on Paragraph Style Properties. You'll come down to Paragraph Name, click the down arrow, and select Caption Box. And look at the tabs. My first tab is at 3.25. I'm going to set that to 3.00. And I'm going to then click OK. So you have to estimate approximately where the middle of your page is to make this permanent for you in the caption box area. All right, let's click on the editor icon again. And we're going to, at the open window, cancel. We're going to go back to File, click on New, select your layout, and you now should be able to go right here to the format area, click your down arrow. You'll probably scroll up because this is alphabetical. Select caption box. And now when you look at where your first tab is, it should be in the middle of the page. So again, I'm going to do Alt-C and I'm going to type in State of Michigan. I'm going to come down double space, align myself to the left. I'm going to set this for State of Michigan. I'm going to now depress my tab key and put a colon. Now, before you do that, please make sure you look down here. Right here, I do not have my automatic punctuation on. If you have PNC showing here, you need to hit Control P to remove your automatic punctuation before you do your colon. I'm going to come down two times I'm going to enter because this is going to be double spaced for me. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put versus. I'm going to again tab and put a colon. I'm going to enter twice again. And right here, I'm going to put my open squiggly bracket. Remember, this bracket is a stop code. So if you're using F7 to uh, stop on your databases that you may sit, uh, set here, um, it will also stop on this stop code, and this is used so that you can fill in certain information. I'm going to tab again. I'm going to place another colon. Now, up here on this side of my middle colon, I am going to put case, I had to think for a minute there, number, and again, I'm going to put an open squiggly bracket. And again, it will stop here and allow me to place the number of the case in here. All right, I'm now going to come down um, onto now line 8. I'm going to put here um, before, and I'm going to two spaces since I have my automatic punctuation off and I'm going to put at judge because I have a database of different judges um, that I may appear in front of and when I do that I can just pull the names of the judges right off the database. I am going to double space again. I'm going to put the date and here again I am going to put the open 
squiggly bracket because I will fill that in. And then I'm going to come down to line 15 and put appearances. And I will come down under there and I'm going to come in five spaces. And this is where I'm going to put my at attorney. And this again will be a database that I will create, which I have shown you how to create these databases in one of the other segments of this tutorial. The nice thing about this using the caption box setup is that you no longer will have to juggle information. If you have a line that's very long here, you will have plenty of space as long as your separator being a colon, a parenthesis, whatever it is that you use, is in the middle of the page. So that really is all there is to doing your caption page using the caption box format. If you have any questions on this, as usual, please don't forget to call our support and they will help you. The number for support, once again, is 800-966-1221. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.